Okay, and I'm going to give a little summary of what we've been seeing on Shark Tracker in the last week or so. We've had four different white sharks ping in in the last week, all happen to be males, two mature males, two sub-adult males. Up north, off of the Outer Banks, we've got two different sharks. Mahone, a mature male, he's just north of the Outer Banks. Mahone's one we've tagged way back in 2020. He's given us a ton of information and, and movement patterns over these years. His tag doesn't ping in all that often anymore, but uh, but he gave us one just uh, just yesterday or today, actually. Uh, and then Danny, a sub-adult male, also off the Outer Banks, closer to Cape Hatteras. Danny was recently tagged. He was tagged just on January 17th. And amazingly, he was just a month ago, February 20th, he was off Marathon in the Florida Keys. And since that time, he's just been cruising pretty steadily north and, and again off the Outer Banks. And then, of course, the Outer Banks are, are, are very important uh, for white sharks. We know that they often stage there in the early spring, April and May, when they're in the midst of their northern migration and just hold there for a bit. And that's the area where the Gulf Stream starts bending to the uh, bending offshore, bending east. And so for that reason, that area represents a real temperature gradient. And that's probably the reason why these white sharks often hold there in the spring is uh, they're probably waiting for temperatures to get just right to, to make that next uh, leg of their journey north. Uh, but also there's a lot of food. The Outer Banks is a very productive area. There's a lot of food for them. So. And then Breton, another mature male, he's uh, just pinged in. He's way offshore on the east side of the Gulf Stream off of uh, Charleston, South Carolina. And so both Breton and, and Mahone are both mature males, and we're really interested in what their movement patterns are, particularly at this time of year, because we think that this is when they are they're sexually mature or they're sexually active, reproductively active. And their movement pattern right now could give us some clues as to when and where mating occurs. So we're keeping a close eye on them. And then Dold, a the sub-adult male, He's the most recently tagged white shark we have, tagged on February 28th, tagged off uh, offshore of the Georgia-Florida border, and he's pretty much been cruising steadily south since he was tagged. His last ping had him off of southeast of Marathon, about 25, 28 miles actually, off of Marathon. And it's going to be interesting to see whether Dold keeps on moving and goes into the Gulf of Mexico, where we've seen a lot of our white sharks move during this overwintering period. But when I look at overall, what we really see here with these four sharks is a lot of variability. It's, it's interesting to know that these white sharks are not all doing the same thing, even though we've got four males and they're all either sub-adults or adults, yet they're in fairly different areas. Um, so there's a lot of plasticity within white sharks. They're not all doing the same thing. They're not all responding to the same environmental cues, clearly. Um, in addition to these four, we had six other white sharks ping in last week, but with Z-pings. So Z-pings are um, sort of not weak or non-locational pings, and they came in from Ocracoke, Crystal, Contender, Ormond, Penny, and Scott. And so Z-pings are just ones where, just say, one message gets through to the satellite that's overhead, and it's not enough to get a good clear location. So, but hopefully we'll hear, uh, we'll get a location from some of these sharks in the coming in coming weeks. We also heard from Tiger Shark Condo this week. As a matter of fact, we received four really good locations from this 10 foot, 400 pound female tiger shark in the last 24 hours. And Condo is uh, way offshore, about 570 miles east of Delaware right now. And not surprising, she's right in the midst or on the just on the edge of the Gulf Stream as it's moving eastward. Um, tiger sharks like warm water, and uh, these females often do go through these fairly broad uh, ocean migrations at times. So it's going to be very interesting to watch where Condo goes in the coming days and weeks. So that's the short summary so far this week. Hopefully there'll be more to tell next week.